Today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Journeys episode 35, I'll Get Pikachu. This episode title was pretty straightforward because that's exactly what happened in this episode, Go caught a Pikachu. But what was crazy to me is, is the fact that he actually evolved it during this episode. And what's even crazier than that is the fact that people, people actually thought Ash's Pikachu was going to evolve. I even saw an article saying that Pokemon Journeys is about to ruin your childhood by evolving Ash's Pikachu. And literally every real and long term Pokemon fan knows that that didn't have a chance of happening at all. But BS articles aside, let's talk about the actual episode. So nothing major happened aside from Go getting Pikachu that would later evolve into Raichu. And the reason Go went and got a Pikachu was because he saw how close Ash's Pikachu was getting along with him. Plus he decided he wanted to get a Pikachu since he'll eventually need a Pikachu to complete his Pokedex. Ash's first reaction is just like, what? You're gonna get- you're gonna really copy my only electric type Pokemon and literally the mascot of the franchise that only I have? Jokes aside, I was always wondering if Go was gonna catch a Pikachu since it's available in nearly every region but Univo. But he does get one in this episode and it actually works out. So, so Ash and Go head to the mountains where there was a Pikachu outbreak. And they go to find some Pikachu, and thankfully Pikachu isn't as easy to catch as all of Ash's, or I guess all of Go's other Pokemon, because the first two that he attempts to catch, he fails at, and that's when the female Pikachu shows up and feels sorry for him, and gives him a Pecha Berry, and then shares some with the rest of them, and Ash is like, that's a really caring Pokemon. Ash with the 10 out of 10 commentary. So, after that, Go decides he'll catch the female Pikachu while it's eating a berry, and... What's weird is that the berry disappeared after it comes out, so random Pokeball fact, I guess. So, Ash and Go discover why there's a Pikachu outbreak, and it's because they're all looking for Thunderstones to evolve. And I, th and I thought that was a pretty cool concept. It also explains why there are wild thun stone evolution Pokemon in the wild. It would be pretty cool if they implemented this into the game, and it increases your chances of finding stone evolution Pokemon, and there'll just be some sort of outbreak. And maybe even gives you an increased odds to find a shiny. But game stuff aside, after that, Ghost Pikachu finds a Thunderstone and tries to give it to Ash's Pikachu. And as we know, Pikachu doesn't want to evolve into Raichu. And then we get the highlight of the, highlight of the episode that had many people stressed. Ghost Pikachu chases Ash's Pikachu behind a rock. We see the evolution out light. And then out comes a Raichu, which shows up and Ash even questions it. When I first saw it, I was thinking it was Ghost Pikachu since I know the plot a lot better than Ash himself. But seconds later, we just see that it's some random Pikachu that evolved into Raichu because Go's Pikachu is still chasing, chasing Ash's Pikachu. I honestly can't believe after 20 years, people actually thought they were going to evolve Ash's Pikachu in some random episode. If it was going to be at any point in time, I do think it would have been in Alola. That way he could have had an Alolan Raichu. And Alola is the region where he first won the Pokemon League. So after that, Go axes. Go tells Ash that it could have made him stronger and asks why Pikachu doesn't want to evolve. And Ash says that Pikachu wants to get stronger as Pikachu, which is something we all already knew. So after that, Go's Pikachu gives him the Thunderstone to hold and says that it'll, it'll just save it for later. Then Team Rocket shows up and starts stealing Pikachus. And Jesse and James send out a Minchino and Baneri, which were actually pretty strong. And so they battle for a bit and end, and then Ash's Pikachu ends up sacrificing itself for the female Pikachu, and Team Rocket escapes. So Team Rocket literally get found within minutes, and then there's a rematch between Baneri and Raboot, which was pretty cool, and then Ash doing something. And then we see Ghost Pikachu acting for the Thunderstone, and it ends up evolving to free its friends. Then it sends Team Rocket flying, and that pretty much ends the episode. We probably should have seen that ending coming, but that aside, this was an okay episode. I always enjoy episodes where they do research work. I think it's one of the more interesting aspects of this series. And aside from that, every real Pokemon fan knew Ash's Pikachu wasn't going to evolve in, in this episode. And even if this is like your first or second Pokemon series, you probably could have guessed that it was going to be Go's Pikachu that was going to evolve considering how easily Go gets everything done. It was surprising to me that his Pikachu evolved because like I was saying earlier, I thought they would have saved that evolution for Ash's, Ash and Go's trip to Alola. That way Go could have Alola and Raichu, but maybe that can still happen because Go's going to need Pichu 
and maybe that P2 evolves into Pikachu and then Raichu. And there's also a Pikachu Valley in Alola, so maybe Go catches Pikachu there and it turns into Alolan Raichu. That aside, let me know what you thought of this episode. There's not really anything else to talk about. So, so be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye.